Hi, I'm Alexandra, and in this top tips video, we're going to learn three top tips for creating random groups in your classroom. Let's get started. The first tip is actually a bonus tip. You're going to start in the Power Teacher Pro gradebook. There is a critical report in here that will allow me to get class lists for my students. I'm going to come into Reports and click my Student Roster Report. I'm going to go ahead and call this Student Roster period one because this is my first period and I'll rinse repeat this process for each of my classes. Under select classes here I can see that period one is selected but I could go ahead and click on this, deselect this, and select period two if I would like to. In this case I'll leave this as period one. We'll choose to sort our students by last name, that's fine. And under display columns we just need to make sure we have the student name. From there I can go into students and just double check that all my students are listed and then I'll go into format. I strongly recommend choosing the portrait format and choosing the Excel format. From there, you can click run report. Now we just need to download this report for use in classroom screens. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to reports and go into my report queue. And here's my student roster period one. And all I have to do is click on it to download that. Great, now I'm ready to use classroom screen. I'm gonna go ahead and go into my app portal and look for classroom screen. Once classroom screen opens up, I can now upload my students for the random generator. I'll go ahead and click on more widgets and click on my group maker. Now I'll click open settings. Please note that with classroom screen, you can save up to three class lists, but if you have more than three class lists, you'll need to create a local list each time. That's why we downloaded the report from PowerSchool. I'm gonna go ahead and launch that report with all my student names. I'm gonna highlight all of my students copy that information, paste that into classroom screen and click continue. Now I can decide how many groups I would like to make. I think I want six groups here and I'll click create groups. And just like that, I have groups made. If I'm unhappy with any of these groups, I can click shuffle to get a new set of groups. I would just need to rinse repeat this process for each period. Tip three is a random group generator found at classtools.net and you have a random group generator. If you go to classtools.net, you will see all the tools they offer and you can look for a random group generator. And you'll follow the very same process that you followed for classroom screen. You'll go ahead and give this a title and you can copy paste the names here. So I'll open up that document that I have, copy those names, paste them here, and choose the number of groups that I require. Let's do six and click go. And just like that, Classroom Tools has created the groups for me. I can go ahead and click go again to reshuffle the groups. And just like that, I have new groups. Tip four that I want to show you today is actually back in PowerSchool. So let's head back to PowerSchool. Once I log into PowerSchool, I'm going to use the seating chart function to make random groups. So let's open the seating chart for one of our classes. I'm gonna make a new layout from scratch. So in seating chart, I'm gonna choose new layout and I'm gonna click edit to give it a new name. I'm gonna call this random groups and click OK. From there, I can go into seating chart design and I can clear out all of my students. I'm also gonna really quickly delete all of these boxes because I don't want my students sitting here. After I've deleted all the rows, I can go ahead and start to make my groups. I'm gonna make my groups based on tables. Please note that this does not have to match the layout in your classroom, but rather the groups that you want. So here I'm gonna go ahead and decide how many chairs per table or how many students per group. In this case, I want six. Once I have that decided, I need to go ahead and decide how many tables I have. Maybe I have seven if I have over 36 students, or maybe I only need six because I happen to have 36 students. And then just to make it easy to see the groups, I can go ahead and adjust the tables across. So I'll do three across, meaning I have two rows of three and click add. Once I've added all of these, I can now populate the students. I'll go ahead and click populate and click random and click add. 
Just like that, all of my students have been added to the groups. If I'd like to reshuffle these groups or use this again, I can go ahead and clear all my students out and repopulate them again, again choosing random and click add. I can always reuse this group over and over again. All I have to do is make sure to save this. So when I leave this, go ahead and click yes to save this. And at any point I can come back to seating chart design, clear out all my students, and populate them again randomly. Go ahead and save that. And this is my next random group. So that is how to make random groups in PowerSchool. Thank you for watching this quick video on three different ways to create random groups in your classroom. I hope you found one that works for you.